Hey guys, this will be a quick overview of all the latest changes and features introduced in the new update for Review Heatmap. If you guys haven't seen my previous video, Review Heatmap is an add-on for Anki which makes it very easy to get an overview of all your different repetitions and reviews over time. It includes a color graded heat map and information on your review streaks. Both of these should help you identify and analyze your performance in Anki and they should also serve as a good motivational factor to just keep reviewing and keep going with your Anki uh, learning. Okay, so the first two things that are new in this latest update are these two, two stats down here. First one being your daily average count on the days that you've actually spent reviewing cards. And the second one being the percentage of days that you've spent reviewing in the interval that the heat map extends to. The other thing that is new is a settings menu which has a lot of different customization options. Some of these change the appearance of the add-on other ones make the um, other ones govern the data range that is available in the heat map. So, for instance, by default, the history extends one year into the past, the forecast three months into the future. These limits are set up as a balance between performance and the uh, actual available information in the heat map. But if your machine is faster, you can set these up to be unlimited, but unlimited to just by just setting them to zero. The other things you can change is where the heat map will appear within Anki. So by default, the uh, heat map doesn't only appear on the main screen and the deck screen now, but it also appears on the stat screen. Either of these can be toggled on or off individually, and you can also decide whether or not to show the streak stats, even if the heat map is disabled, which is a good compromise if your system is a bit slower, because calculating these stats doesn't really take as much time and should be a good fallback if you have to disable the heat map for the main and text screen. All right, so here we go. This is how the performance, uh, how the customization looks. In this case, we have set the color theme to magenta and the calendar mode now is um, divided up into different months. Okay, the other things I wanted to showcase, uh, the other thing I wanted to show you is the statistics heat map. This one is special because it doesn't follow the uh, limits you might have set up for all of the other heat maps. Instead, it is controlled by the stats options below here, which apply to all of the graphs in the stats section. So you can use this heat map as a fallback or as a reference if you don't want to have these statistics present all the time. So if you just want to know something about a specific data point which might have been years back, then you can use this statistics heat map which will extend to the entire range of your collection. Alright, that's as far as the changes are concerned. I hope you enjoyed these and um, make sure to stay, stay tuned to this channel. I'll try to release some new videos on Anki add-on soon. Until then, have fun with the add-on and see you soon. Bye.